for this video, you will learn how to do the double under crisscross. Let's go! What is up guys and welcome back to this channel for fitness life and good vibes again. This is Bricks. For this video, you will learn how to do the double under crisscross or the double crisscross or whatever you want to call it. For everything else, if you have it, then consider subscribing to this channel for more fitness life videos and jump rope videos. And also, if you like this shirt that I'm wearing, please support Jumpwear PH. You can check that out in the link in the description and also if this video will be helpful for you smash that like button and also share this with your friends and family who wants to be a jump rope ninja so with that everything out of the way let's go and learn the double under crisscross let's go now before we get into the tutorial let me first talk about your ropes for this trick guys, I would recommend you to use the rope that you are very comfortable with. So I'm more comfortable with the PVC rope but it doesn't matter if you use the beaded rope guys. So kahit anong gamitin nyo, basta kung saan kayo sanay. It's okay. Now that you picked your rope, let's now get into the rope length. Now for this trick, I would recommend to go below your chest area, a little below your chest area as you can see what I'm doing. One way to check if your rope length is incorrect is if you keep on tripping. As you can see in the video, my rope length is quite short so I will adjust it like so. And again, I would suggest to go a little about 2-3 to three inches below your chest area as you can see in the video. Again guys, don't skip this part because the rope length is very important because this is one of the reasons, one of the main reasons why we keep on tripping on the rope. Now the next important part before we get into the trick itself is your shoes. Make sure to choose a shoe that is very bouncy or responsive. If you haven't checked out my video about jump rope shoes, I will link it in the upper right corner of this video and also you can check it out in my channel. The first thing you gotta do guys is pretty obvious is to master the double unders. If you want to know how to do the double unders, I have a video in my channel and also I will link it in the upper right corner of this video right now. In my opinion, if you can do at least 15 to 20 straight and consistent double unders, you are ready to do the double under crisscross provided that you can also do the crisscross. Now that leads me to my next tip which is to master the crisscross. Now if you don't know how to do the crisscross or you haven't tried it, go and check out my channel. Also, I will link that video in the upper right hand corner of this video. Now just like the double unders, in my opinion, if you can do at least 15 to 20 straight and consistent crisscrosses, then you're good to go. Now before I teach you the double under crisscross, I will just tell you that there are two types of this trick. This will sound a little bit confusing but the first type is the open cross and the second type is the cross open. On the open cross from the word itself, you will be doing a double under open first before you cross the rope. Now in the cross open, it's just the reverse of the open cross. You will first cross the rope before you open it. It really sounds obvious and funny but you will understand what I'm saying when you try it out yourself and learn this trick. Now some find it easier to do the open cross but I find it more comfortable for me to do the cross open. However, don't worry guys because I will try my best to explain both in this video. So let me first guide you in the cross open. In my opinion, the cross open looks better than the open cross but it's just a matter of preference guys. This is what Mayweather does so I think it's very very cool. So basically you have to cross the rope as you jump and then you open it as you go down. So from the regular bounce you will cross the rope 
with greater force than you usually do and also jump high as if you are going to do the double unders. And as the rope passes your feet, open the rope or your arms. So it, it is very important to increase the force of your first cross so that the momentum of that cross will help the opening of the rope. Now one tip that I can give you is that the first cross is like you're doing the crossing of your arms like the DX entrance in WWE if you know that and it's like smacking your arms to your body because you need the momentum of the first cross guys. At first it's okay and it's normal to kick your feet or tuck in your stomach just like in the double unders as long as you are aware that you're doing it as and then in the future you can progress to jumping vertically now i also recommend maximizing your shoulders so as you can see in the video i'm rolling my shoulders forward so that we will maximize the length of the rope and also the movement that you are doing Well, let's get to the other type which is the open cross. Now this method is quite similar to the regular double unders. That is why I think a lot of people prefer this one. So guys, I know what you're thinking. Bakit mukhang parehas lang naman sila? Pero guys, actually, it is not the same. If you try it out yourself, there are a lot of differences. Especially in the technique, in the motion, and in the initial movement. Now just like in the regular double unders, you have to spin the rope as hard as you can so that the momentum will help cross the rope. Now the first move here is to do a regular double unders and as the rope passes to your feet, you have to cross your arms in order to make the rope cross over your body. Now think of this move as two parts. The first part is going up and the second part is going down. Now as you go up, you will already do a regular bounce or a regular double under. You can also observe that before I even get to the peak of my jump, the rope is already in my upper back area. Now the second that you reach the peak of your jump, you will already do the cross and as you can observe before I even get to the floor or even touch the floor, the rope is already at my back. Now from here, you will repeat the step 1 of the open cross and I know it's kind of difficult to do consecutive or continuous double under crisscross but later on I will teach you some drills that you can do to get that consecutive double under crisscross. So those were the two types of double under crisscross and I know this video is kind of like in a difficult level but trust me guys with patience and practice, this trick is much easier than you think. The question is what will you do or what will you try? The open cross or the cross open? In my experience, if you are more comfortable doing fast crisscrosses, then you might want to consider practicing the cross open first. And on the other hand, if you are better doing fast double unders, then you might want to try the open cross instead. Now what if for example you are better in crisscross and you try the cross open and you don't seem to perfect or execute it even if you have tried and tried. Kung sa tingin mo sobrang tagal na ng progress mo sa isang type, then try switching and doing the other type instead. This is what happened to me before eh. I tried doing the open cross first and I can't seem to find the way or can't seem to do it after weeks of practicing. So I tried doing the cross open instead and I found out that that is the one that works for me. So guys, there is no quick fix book or don't expect that after this video or after your first try or even after the 50th try, you will get it because jump rope in general is a sport that needs a lot of practice, patience, and also focus. So my advice to you is to try doing this after your workout, not before, so that practicing will not affect the mood of your day or your workout, if you know what I mean. Thank you. 
So an additional tip that I can give you is what I call the handle cheat. So one way to make this trick easier to execute is to hold your handles at the edges. So your hand must be closer to the end of the rope handle. In this way, you're increasing the range of the rope, thus making it easier to do. Then as you progress, you gradually put back your hand into proper placement. Now similar to the double unders, you have to lower your arm placement. Instead of your arms being at the side or your waist area, try putting it below your waist area so that you will minimize the possibility of tripping on the rope. Drill to practice the double under crisscross is to practice without the ropes. So the key in practicing without the rope is that you have to make sure that as you go up, you do the first move and then before you touch the ground, you already did the second move. Now the sequence here is not jump, cross, then down, cross. It's more of like an up, cross, cross, then down. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Don't get used to making your hands and feet in sync for this trick. Try to make sure that your hands are faster than your feet so that when you do it with a rope, you will not trip. Try to imagine that you are already using a rope even without using the rope. Now after all the tips that I gave to you, the most important one is to be patient and practice. You can watch this video again and again or even watch other videos on YouTube about this one. But just keep in mind that practice is the best way to learn it. Good luck guys! So that was it guys. Thank you so much for watching and big shout out to Samantha Claire for suggesting this video. If you want to learn more about jump rope or any jump rope trick, just leave a comment down below. I listen guys. I read all those comments. If you haven't, please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And there you go guys. As you can see, I'm all sweaty because this workout, this trick is very tiring. I hope you learned something from this video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace!